Welcome, we are Team 5. Uh, we just want to thank you all for allowing us the opportunity to present our design proposal for River Tree Academy. I am Michael Hargrave. I'm Abhishek Shirde. I'm Sabuda. I'm Jen Hickey. Alrighty. So these are the values that they have put onto River Tree. Uh, learn well, love well, work well, and lead well. And then we created our own values that we think need to be integrated into uh, the school. Uh, holistic involvement, spiritual aptitude, cultural significance, and iconic demeanor. Uh, these values apply to both the children and the overall design and the utilization of the space. So this is our master plan. Uh, what we wanted to focus on was creating a difference between the public and the private areas. So towards the north, we have more public uh, academic space, multi-use barn. Uh, and then in the central area, we have uh, student housing. Towards the south of that is faculty housing with its own private entrance. And then off to the west side, we have the chapel. So it's more secluded and private and kind of creates that spiritual uh, presence. So for the design of the of all the buildings. For the barn, it is placed at the entrance of the site, so it's the first thing that a visitor sees upon entering the site, um, because it is the iconic element that the clients wanted. Um, and so we placed it next to the pond, with, and we put it, um, we have three wind turbines that we're using um, for our design, and in the barn is a commercial sized kitchen, bathrooms, storage rooms, um, and just in the setting that it is at is really picturesque for a wedding venue as well. So we have um, that as available as well. And for the chapel, placed on the more on the west side, um, more secluded, away from the distractions of the school and just everything else going on. Um, and we the west wall of the chapel is a curtain wall um, facing onto one of the other ponds and in that, in that pond we're going to have a cross statue that will be appear to be floating in the water um, and it'll just with the orchard behind it and we'll just have a really powerful view for the chapel. And for the academic we have it split up into three different buildings for ease of construction and phasing. Um, so the first building built will be the middle one with um, a. Guys, we can see them up there. They're actually okay. bigger on the screen than they are in the hands. So, um, I just that. With a silo feature um, next to the first building built, which will hold the elevator and a staircase up, to allowing access to the second floor. And then there's walkways connecting all three of the buildings. And we took elements from the barn design and to mimic it onto the academic building and for a more farm-like feel. And the staff and student housing are just inspired by Lake Plato with their natural materials and somewhat of a modernish look. Um, but the staff housing as Michael mentioned, is located on the southern side of this site, um, and it's we wanted we put it down there for so they can just get away from the school day and just re feel like they actually live in a neighborhood off of where they work, um, and it has private access on the southern part of the site. And the student housing is um, split up into twelve duplexes, so. Each half of the duplex accommodates eight students in a married in a married family or a married couple, um, and in all that will accommodate 192 students. But there is room for expansion um, by using this cottage style instead of one giant dorm. So there, they can add more duplexes later if needed. Oh, and the gym is. Near the academic building, um, there's only a half-size court inside, and attached to it is a covered outdoor full-size basketball court, um, which can also be used as an outdoor pavilion, and the sports field is in 
the floodplain. So we, use, we utilize the floodplain for recreational activities as well as the farmland. Um, so coming to the uh, estimate and construction plan point of uh, view of the uh, proposal, so our total cost is approximately seven. Construction cost is seventeen point three uh, million dollars, out of which twenty five percent cost is going to be utilized in the first phase. Uh, the first phase includes majorly academic building, chapel, barn, student housing, and staff housing. Uh, but um, the major part of our uh, expenses is going on uh, academic building, which is approximately four million dollars. So this has been distributed over the three phases to make it more economical and make everything uh, more feasible for the developer as well as uh, to uh, collect some donations for the future stages. So um, uh, next slide please. Uh, coming to the scheduling uh, point of view, we have a timeline uh, that uh, mostly if you can see the these are like the each phases. Uh, maybe in the first phase we have a limited amount of time that is approximately of, a, of an year where we have to do a lot of work like academic building, chapel, barn uh, and student housing and staff housing but later on the, the phases are each individually one and a half year approximately so we have little bit, bit of time to optimize the things and uh, make it more convenient as far as material and construction is uh, concerned. Uh, then uh, our whole phasing is getting over like I mean our phasing is done in, in five phases so each phase is approximately one and a half year. Uh, next slide. Yes. Uh, coming to the site logistics plan, uh, we've had the central job access road that is a uh, access road for the whole job and we have like three different areas that is the contractor village area and the material stacking area and the vehicle parking area. Uh, when the project is under construction. This particular image we are showing it for the phase 2 because we have some buildings that are already constructed and the uh, buildings that are un like uh, under the process of construction. So we provide the barrication around the constructions that are under the process. So the pink line is the one that shows the barrication around the construction uh, ongoing projects. And um, like these are the two phases which we could show so that uh, we you, uh, like you we can provide some idea with the logistic plan. Alright, uh, as we've already gone over, uh, we split this into five phases over 10 years uh, for a total cost of $17 million and a total square footage of $105,000. Uh, for the total development cost, when you take any, everything into account, we're in at $31 million. It's a little over budget, but I feel like we we have everything that the client wanted uh, and um, it is spread out over 10 years so they'll be able to um, gain more money uh, through donations hopefully uh, to pay for the extra costs. Uh, for activation we have four main points marketing, promotion, engagement and excitement and we broke those up into uh, smaller categories. So marketing is exchange, focus and structure um, we just want to go out, we want to campaign for the people who will most uh, appreciate uh, the, the design and, and uh, space. Uh, for promotion, we have branding, dedication, and festive. Uh, for this, we want to have some sort of um, setup where at a dollar amount, for every $200 you donate, you have a, a brick with your name on it that's then part of the school so that your contribution will then. Uh, people will know that you have contributed to this uh, school and it will always be with the school. Uh, for engagement, we have locational, experiential, and association. Uh, we just want to maintain a connection uh, between the school and Como and the city of Fort Worth and create some sort of a legacy. And then for excitement, uh, we just want people to be a part of River Tree. So we have involved, iconic, and progressive. Uh, for facilities management, the cost of buildings per phase, uh, we've already covered. And then operating expenses and facilities management. Uh, for year one, uh, we have an operating budget per month of $154,000. And then by year 10, we will have $550,000 per month operating costs. Uh, social and cultural value, um, kind of covered this in the design. Uh, safety and security, we have electric gates on all access points along with the security system throughout uh, the site. Uh, the rentable venue for public and private gatherings, uh, both for the barn and for the chapel. Uh, public access, uh, monthly farmers markets, and monthly donor fundraising events. 
Uh, we obviously have the ADA compliance for the second story and the academic uh, with, that, um, with the silo design. Uh, outdoor gathering space in the